Cleanup is an apparel company focused on helping our oceans. Hello Sharks, my name is Mike LaMagna. I'm Lauren LaMagna, and we're salty siblings from New England. We're here seeking a $375,000 investment for 15% of our business, the Long Wharf Supply Company. It's no secret that ocean plastics are one of the biggest environmental challenges of our generation. Additionally, millions of pounds of oyster shells are discarded every year and end up in landfills eventually turning toxic over time while contributing to global waste. And that's why we're turning waste into wool. We created the first fisherman's sweaters made from a soft blend of recycled oyster shells, recycled water bottles, and natural lamb's wool. Each sweater sold reseeds up to 30 oysters. To date, we've reseeded over 70,000 oysters, which naturally filter 3.5 million gallons of seawater in our local waterways every day. Wow. By creating high quality and timeless garments that promote the use of recycled materials and that directly support reseeding coastal oyster reefs, we hope to reduce waste and clean up into our waterways for the next generation. So sharks, now that we've got a hook in the water, who's ready to take the bait? This wow. is a really nice sweater. Thank you. It is Very really nice. Super soft. I mean, it really feels nice. It's got like that a good weight, but also like something you'd want to put on. What's the percentage of the lamb's wool to the recycled? It's 10% lamb's wool and 50% of our recycled material. Really? 50%? Yeah. The other 40% is 20% nylon and 20% plant-based viscose. So for those who don't know, one oyster filters how much water a day? I'm glad you asked. People are floored to learn that 50 gallons of seawater per day are filtered by each oyster. I filmed a little experiment for you so you can see it with your own eyes. We filled two tanks with mucky seawater, placed 60 oysters in the tanks. If you'll notice by the end here, the tank on the right gets pretty clear. People are blown what was away. That period of time? For two you... hours. We that put was them in two the tank. hours. Wow. It only takes you two hours to clean that much? For that, that time lapse, yeah. yes. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Very interesting. So, what's your backstory? Yeah, absolutely. After graduating, I moved back to Boston initially to work for one of the most successful e-commerce companies, Wayfair. Mm -hmm. And I interned in New York City working for an entrepreneur who had co-founded fashion label Tory Burch, was hired as an associate. It was my dream job. Unfortunately, I got caught up in layoffs. And I just did what I knew how to do best go back and jump on lobster boats. And during those years, I looked around and I was floored at how much plastic and waste we'd pull out of the ocean. So I started thinking about launching my own business. So Long Wharf originally started at the end of 2016 with a handful of wax canvas and leather goods. We actually launched the sweater collection last year, 12 months ago. So what do these things sell for? What are your margins? So we have just under an 80% gross average margin. They wow. cost us $23.50 to $33.50 to make, and we sell them for $128 to $158. Have you figured out your customer acquisition cost yet? We yes. have. Right now, we can acquire customers for $41. That's expensive. $41. Give me the last three years in sales. Yeah, so I just want to talk about our pandemic pivot because it was a big it's part of our It's never good story. when someone asks you how much you're selling and we get another change story. The subject, yeah. In the last 12 months, we've sold $495,000. And is it just the two of you running the company? Like, tell me, how is this operation being run? It's the two of us. I mean, it's it's bootstrapped, nose to the grindstone, pounding down You're doors. You're doing everything, though. Mike likes to tell stories, doesn't he? Mike's, I'll, I'll Mike's a storyteller, right? He's Italian, I'm Italian. If we're not talking, we don't know what to do. But it's very much an all-hands-on-deck kind of effort. And are you 50-50 partners? No, right now, I own 100% of the company. You Michael. do? I do. He does. And what about Lauren? I still have a full-time job, and I'm working on Long Wharf mornings, nights, and weekends right now. Well, why doesn't Lauren have a percentage? Yeah, why doesn't Lauren have a percentage? I mean, there's yeah. a couple negotiations we can do in this room today. Hey, who's the shark? <laughs> Hey, hang on, Mike, just give me one second here. 375,000, 50%, $2.5 million valuation, 495,000 in sales. I get the oyster story, that's really great, but it's a sweater business, okay? You're worth sort of one-time sales. 375,000, I'd need to have like 75% of it. We appreciate the offer, but that deal is <laughs> 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 give an offer. 
Mike, let me tell you, the valuation's insane. The company's not even worth 375,000 yet. You asked for too much money. I'm out. We appreciate it, Mr. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. You know, I mean, I'm really attracted to this because my my daughter uh, is five years old. Uh, you know, they asked the, all the kids in school, what do you want to be? And two of the kids say, I want to be a venture capitalist when I get older. <laughs> my daughter said, I want to pick up trash. Interesting. Nothing against the hard working men and women that clean up our cities. And I asked her, why do you want to pick up trash? And then she looked at me at five years old with those big, beautiful eyes and said, because I want to clean up the world, daddy. Oh. Right? And, and so, this is something I want to do. It, it's, it's something that our kids need to understand. But the number is so much to wrap our heads around, and I, I would be making an uneducated decision and paying the most I could for it. So, we're so trying I have to, to pass. With that I'm out. 375, oh, we appreciate your time, Damon. Um, I think it's really interesting. You do think that there's a, there's a gap in the market, don't you? We do. I mean, we see ourselves becoming the face of yeah. the circular economy. No, no, we that, believe that, that wasn't we're... an opportunity for a speech. It was just a statement. <laughs> no, I'm just... Uh... What I'm looking at now is, is there actually a market in that gap? Because I think what your mission and what you're trying to stand for is really great. How do you make this into a business? Isn't there something bigger that you could be doing that would be ho helping the oceans in an even bigger you way? You don't like this business at all? <laughs> no. We'd love to get there, and I think we're on the track to do that. Then, let me ask the question in a different way. Can you sell something that everybody can afford and buy so everybody can participate? A T-shirt that everybody can say, hey, I'm supporting conservation and reclamation of oysters and making the oceans better. There's got to be a path to scale. Yes, and there is. So right now, what we've been talking to you guys about is our lands will blend, but something that we're working on is a cotton and recycled material blend. It's much more versatile than our wool blend, which is made to keep you warm. Just tell me, can you sell a t-shirt for $29.95, make 60 plus percent margins, and accomplish the same thing, and sell five million of them? We think we can sell five million of these sweaters. I'm out. We, we do appreciate your time, You know Mark. what's a bummer? Mark's idea is a really great one because people care. His daughter cares. We all care, right? And we want to be able to do things and get behind things. But to Mark's point, in an affordable, inexpensive way, a T-shirt. And when he said, how about doing that? Can you tell me doing that? And if you had said to him, yes, I would have said, Mark, I want to join you. But you didn't. <laughs> Look at Michael. But you didn't. It was the moment to jump in and say, yeah, you know what? It's a good idea. We'll figure it out. We'll and make guys, anything out of oyster shells. That's the thing. Now you're yeah. talking, yeah. but I'm yeah. so sorry, but I'm out. Well, we appreciate Thank it, Lori. Thank you Laurie. very time, Lori. Look, I think you've come with a great product, a really, really good idea. Um, there's two things I don't like about it. One is clearly the valuation, and the second thing, interestingly, is he hadn't given any share to your sister, who I think is just about as passionate in this business as you are. So can you answer why that hasn't happened? Honestly, Peter, we haven't even thought about it yet. Lauren's put in the time. Did you think You might want to ask it, Lauren, Lauren that, yeah. Lauren, would you take it if he offered you equity? Yeah, absolutely. Michael, are you going to offer her some equity? Yes. How much is she going to get? I'd like to see Michael's commitment. How much would you give her now? Hmm. Lauren, what do you want? I'll take 10%. That's it? Done. All right, we got a deal okay. finally. Great, you've just done a deal in the Shark Tank. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. You might do another one, because I'm going to make you an offer. Awesome. Let's hear it. I am able to help you sell this on a global basis in multiple markets. I've got a business I'm a major shareholder in. It's called Localized. We take even American brands, and we put them into global markets. I'm going to offer you all of the money. That's 375000 But I want 45% of the business. <gasps> yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Are coming. Yeah. <laughs> no. <we're... laughs> that they are. Um, I think that's a hell of an offer because you don't have anything yet. You got oysters, you got some water bottles, you got nothing in sales. I mean, and you got a new partner. <laughs> you do that deal, you lost 55% in one minute. Um, your, your dream for having this business successful becomes reality the minute you say yes. Peter, we'd, we'd love to have you join the family. Great. We, we appreciate the offer. 
But was that a deal? Would you consider 25%? Yeah. <laughs> to Kevin's point, this business today is worth maybe three to five hundred thousand dollars. That's the reality. And my business, we're the only company in the world, this is a big statement, but it's true, the only company in the world that could take a global brand and open them up in a localized market like Japan, Korea, and Asia in 30 days or less. That makes a very, very unique difference, and that's what I bring to the party. So there, there's no No, because I just feel that there's going to be a lot of work here. I'm not going to budge on that. It's my final offer, so... Well, Lauren's made the decision on this one. Peter, we really appreciate your offer, but it's more than we're willing to give up right now. Whoa! Good for you guys. Good for you guys. Oh, are you Understandable. kidding? No, no, that's smart as hell. We really appreciate everyone's advice and time today. Good luck. Well, we listen, Peter feedback. just got you 10% of the company. That's true. Right? <laughs> We're walking away as winners. You've done a deal. Well done. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, thanks, guys. All right, guys. Thanks, Congrats. everyone. Thank you. We appreciate luck, guys. your time. Congrats, guys. Good luck. Wow. Good work. Forty-five percent was way too high. I did give up ten percent today to a great partner who's been there since the beginning, but we're still keeping it in the family.